the glitch earlier yeah actually i was working on the videos i have something like 27 videos for you so i was trying to just nick them and trim them and uh, anything possible you see most of the times we are concerned with the posterior capsule you know that's the water loop but believe me when the anterior capsule wants to play tantrums it can drive you crazy band ho gaya laga diche so i'll be talking about when all the anterior capsule can have a mind of its own and how to get it back and not to panic so first of all i'll divide my presentation into two parts one is understanding physics and dynamics for those people who know me i'm actually known as a geek techno geek in my organization i can open any machine and put it back including my laser machines that's a hobby that's a passion so i apply physics in all surgeries so i'll try and make you people understand uh how it works for me and how it will work for you the moment you start understanding the the physics of the whole scenario ye presentation mera is pe nahi mere pe run kar raha udhar nahi aa raha you have to present two talks is running for me mera slide change ho raha aapka nahi change ho raha idhar ek hi dikha ek hi dikha dono ko main kar dunga not my day i guess is the central 5 to 6.5 or maximum 7 mm yeah so once you understand this basic thing then you are able to actually play around it nahi chal raha yaar okay so i represent a sharp side group of eye hospitals i must tell you we are look out for very young dynamic surgeons we are growing at a fast pace we have 18 hospitals we are coming up with more in asansol siliguri guwahati ranchi jhansi so i am looking for young dynamic surgeons you know who would put together partner with us and take ik to the new level in the country video chhe shu hai yaar isme video run nahi kar raha agya thanks so let us understand what all can happen to an anterior capsule you could have a run through you could have your blade going and puncturing the capsule you could have an intumescent cap tract just bursting upon you you could have the capsule coming out of your wound anything you can think of even if you think you've done a femto cataract surgery the capsule can just decide to play up on you you can have an argentinian flag sign with the capsule completely extending backwards so all these situations we'll see how to manage so the thickest part of the capsule as i said is the point of insertion of zonules this is your strong point but the moment you go beyond that you are in slippery waters that's when the zonules will start pulling the capsule outwards and that will only happen when the pressure of the anterior chamber is lesser than the intralenticular pressure and the vitreous pressure both put together so imagine the capsule like a trampoline the strongest part of the trampoline is where the knots are being tied so this is your strongest part you go beyond this you are encroaching the unsafe zone this is where the zonules are there and the capsule is thin and these zonules as you go and approach them will tend to pull the capsule outwards and that will happen the moment the intraocular pressure goes down so the total sum of the vitreous and the intralenticular pressure should be always less than the anterior chamber pressure so there's a play of two forces the centrifugal and the centripetal force centripetal force is what your keratome or your utrata forceps is creating towards the radius and the centrifugal force is what the zonule is doing as long as you maintain the balance the rexus will follow your orders the moment things go wrong that's when things go wrong so in a normal situation what all can go wrong so if the zonules are encroached and the viscoelastic leaks this is when the zonule will pull it out in a hypermature cataract if the intralenticular pressure is high you may have a a lot of viscoelastic in the anterior chamber but the intralenticular pressure is still pulling the zonules outward it will run out so the raised pressure will cause an external spreading so this is how the dynamic works you will ask me dr kamal why does the vitreous pressure make the zonules pull simple understand this the moment the anterior chamber collapses the vitreous tries to push the lens diaphragm up and once it moves up the zonules which are at the periphery are now being stretched because the vitreous is pushing the lens up now these zonules 
if they had a pressure x on that point, we'll have 2x, 3x, 4x. And if your x is, touches that zonule, boom, it goes up. This is what happens. As the lens diaphragm moves up, viscoelastic leaks, the same zonule, which was earlier supporting the capsule, is now pulling the capsule outwards. And this is what goes wrong. So make it a point to have no aqueous pockets in the interior chamber. When you go in with the viscoelastic, push the wound, get the viscoelastic come out as with complete aqueous. So there's only viscoelastic in the interior chamber. So when your rexis goes out, reduce the angle subtended by less than 90. And if the rexis is small, increase the angle more than 90. Now we will go to the video part. This is the video being done by one of my associates. There is a tear, peripheral tear. You can see the tear and see what happens. This is the rex is extended, badly managed. I'll just fast forward it. The direction of the pull is actually making the zonules pull it more. So my associate thinks that he's completed the rexes, everything is fine, finishes the surgery. I'll fast forward the surgery. And we think we are out of the woods. We are not. I'll freeze frame the video for you to actually make you see what's going on. There is a complete extension of that tear through the posterior capsule. Two mistakes. Trying to maneuver extended rexes without pushing viscoelastic and not keeping in mind the vectors, how the capsule was being pulled. That's what led to this problem. So again, as we finish, I'll just, uh, there, can you see the PC? Completely torn. Now suppose this was well managed, what would we do? This is another case why by one of my associates, I was operating in the next OT. Uh, she was operating. I have a technique by my name called the inverted T technique. It's been published there. Now this happened and she was trying to attempt the inverted T, but the viscoelastic was less in the interior chamber. So she called me, sir, I'm in big trouble. Help me out. So I take over the case and let's see how we manage it. So first I give a nick here. And then I do the inverted T modified. I go and aspirate the flocculent cataract, which was raising the internal lenticular pressure. Can you see I'm sucking it out? So as the pressure goes down, my capsule is flattened now. It's far more in control. And all I need to do is give a T cut. And we'll just fast forward it. There are so many videos for us to see. There, 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 there. Rex is completed. Second part completed. Third part completed. And the rexis is there, and there we finish the case. So again, reducing the internal lenticular pressure, making sure that the pressure is not exerted outwards. It is always tangentially and bringing it inwards. So once this is done, case well managed. Now we go to the next case. This is a rexis extension sideways. The rexis is extended. Trick, viscoelastic. But once if you're going slow, visco is leaking more, refill. Bring it to the center and then give a radial cut. You can also do it with a jerk. You can do it with a jerk if you're well practiced. So this is again one of my associates doing. I was just telling her how to do it. So all you need to do is push in viscoelastic, but don't take time. Because if you're going with the forceps, visco will start leaking. Just go and hold, bring it to the radial side and then turn it around. So you can control it. So we go to another video. This is another interesting video, peripheral extension. Now, this is tricky. Intral lenticular pressure is high and we cannot see where the rexis has extended. It could have extended backwards. So, any pulling movement can be dangerous here. So, what do we do? We go in and cut this piece with one hour. Because when I pull on a longer piece, the forces directed will be distributed over a long flange of the capsule. So, I will have less control. So, I cut the limb, make it small so that the force is directly transmitted to the limbus. Another case, now this is a situation in case your capsule starts coming out of the wound, there is a trick to manage it. Please do not try and push it from the main wound itself. If you do that, you're in big trouble. So this is again an interesting case. So we, I'm again training one of my associates to make small rexes and slowly, you know, do a circumferential rexes. He's doing it. He manages it well. But one thing wrong goes, goes wrong is, 
there is a long tail again i'll fast forward there are so many videos now he leaves and i tell him what is going to happen and it happens see the tail comes out of the main wound there this is tricky i'll just freeze the video here if you push in more viscoelastic right now you are in for trouble the moment you enter the main wound visco will want to come out with the visco this tail will come out you push in more viscoelastic the tail will come out more and you will have a peripheral extension so the trick is to nip this so now i take in i step in i make him move out give a nick shorten the tunnel use your side port to repose this tail never manage this tail from the main wound i i have at least six videos where somebody is trying to push it from the main wound peripheral extension tc so there you go see how to manage it so i take over you give a nick here pass forward it nick here now do not deposit from the wound itself use a blunt instrument make the capsular axis smoothly go in now push in the scoelastic and do whatever you want now push with scoelastic flatten the capsule and manage it so we'll again go to the next video another interesting video now this is another video where again it's an instrument in intumescent cataract and it is for sure it is going to go out so see what happens viscoelastic in utrata see notice there is a air bubble here just look at this air bubble the moment the air bubble leaks the pressure in the ac is low and see what happens the moment the bubble leaks there you are it goes to the periphery so whenever you managing such a case never just focus on the capsule rexus please see your wound what is happening to the viscoelastic now give a nick this nick has to be away from the periphery it has to be at an angle shanu knows i get carried away when i do video sessions yeah so there i just we go have, very fast now we are too fast so much yeah this is an interesting case this is i am operating this case there is a very uncooperative lady i go in with my keratome she moves i have a puncture now i don't have one flap i have two flaps my keratome has entered straight here there are two flaps so i try and pull one i know it's gone to the periphery then i try and pull the second one i know it's extended to the periphery attempt the second one gone to the periphery now what do i do fast forward i use a vanas to give a kit so i given two nicks tangentially any pull here will aggravate the situation two nicks given now all you need to do is join both the rexes from both the sides and rexes is done i'll just jump these videos i'll just come to some main ones again <coughs> two more videos shanu sorry sorry bye sorry uh, no more yeah fast more. okay again interesting see what happens again gone out there's so much of fluid there intra lenticular fluid there push in push in push in try and pull try and pull bad move bad move bad move i'll just fast forward it give a fresh nick if you feel you cannot control it start from a new place start from a new place give a fresh nick and then use another forcep to come outwards and complete it never leave a sharp edge in your capsule rexus especially in intumescent cataracts now this is again post femto everything is fine a beginner surgeon doing it so he just pulls the capsule thinking that the rexus is complete and this is what happens see there you are you saw that the rexus was still attached pulled out So as the rexus is pulled out, it creates. I'm just going to reverse it for you. So even when you're doing a femto cataract surgery, you have to make sure that the rexus is totally detached and not adherent. If you pull on an adherent capsular rexus, you're in for trouble. Ah, uh, Kamal. There. I know you have lot of videos to show, and we always love to see your videos. Thank you. So after, because we know. CCC is not the only thing. Other things are also there. <laughs> we have to manage 